Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to begin with one of Sarah Schreckler's famous three-word poems, and I quote, Sometimes I cry. This profound message relates to me directly, as I am what many people would classify as a crier. I find a way to shed a few tears with almost every emotion that I feel. Happiness, sadness, frustration, anxiety, you name it. However, crying can be beneficial, and to avoid making myself sound pitiful to the entire student body, I want to briefly recount some of the significant crying moments of my high school career and the lessons I've learned from them. It was sophomore year, and Mr. Grogan had just finished a year with the most dysfunctional math class in SCH history, answering my endless questions while trying so hard to ignore Tom and Harmer. During the exam, my frustration tears kicked in, causing me to throw my test at one of my favorite teachers and, to say the least, end Algebra 2 on a low note. If a lesson could be learned from this outburst, it would be that sometimes my crying simply indicates how much I care about my work in school. But even that may be a stretch. Fast forward to a few weeks ago. I was in the best mood, strolling out of Bread and Bex with a few cookies and my friend Weatherly, when I spotted my first parking ticket on my dashboard. The tears came instantly. Wed, being the more rational of the two of us, immediately looked for the parking authority man down the block. Still crying, I sprinted down the street after him. I recognized him as the mean ticket man that lurks around top of the hill, preying on innocent teen drivers that had lost track of time like I had. However, this day was different, and he pitied me. He took away my ticket after one glance at my red and blotchy face. The lesson from this incident is that crying cannot be a bad thing if it prevents you from having to pay $26 to the city of Philadelphia. Despite what you may be thinking about my mental state, there have also been many times that I have cried out of happiness. On Blue and Gold Day this year, the miraculous comebacks of each middle school race brought tears to my eyes. I've cried every time I've watched the Dillon Panthers of Friday Night Lights win state. I've cried laughing over my friend's stupid jokes at the lunch table countless times. I teared up watching my cousin get married this past fall. I even get watery eyes when Ben and Mason joke around with me in the senior commons but this is less of a happy time because they are usually yelling and or throwing textbooks at me. <laughs> Although some people see crying as a sign of weakness, I disagree. I think that everyone has their own natural reactions to the everyday ups and downs of life. And the fact that people can outwardly see how I'm feeling does not put me at a social disadvantage. To me, crying means letting myself submit to my emotions for a brief moment instead of striving for perfection in many aspects of my life. You could find me crying at the overtime loss to Notre Dame last lacrosse season, or when I dropped my sandwich on the floor of the cafeteria last week, which earned a new <laughs> amount of odd looks from underclassmen. Tears come during all sorts of good and bad events of my life, events that will someday be character-building memories. I believe in showing how you feel in whatever way works best for you, and surrounding yourself with people that can either laugh with you or comfort you in these situations. Thank you. Thank you.